I'm Rachel Balducci. Welcome to my show. I'm a wife, I'm a mom of six, and I'm the author of Make My Life Simple, Bringing Peace to Heart and Home. I'm always thinking of ways that faith and real life intersect. God is always offering us inspirations and wanting us to be closer to Him, and I think He uses the world around us and the people around us to do that. I hope you enjoy the show. All right, so I'm talking to Chris Magruder, and you're the one of the executive producers of a short film that's coming out called The Veil Removed. Yes. Um, and so this is sort of your brainchild, but you're very quick to say the Holy Spirit and God, and like, but he, but you were open to hearing this somehow. So tell us the story of this idea coming to you of this this short sure. film. I have a short radio show on Thursday mornings on Iowa Catholic Radio called Catholic Women Now and we came across some information about what happens at Mass that a lot of people don't know about, about um, if there, was a, there is a veil between heaven and earth at Mass that we just can't see what's going on. One lady in particular down in, she was in Bolivia originally, now she's in um, Mexico. She actually had a very clear vision of what happens at Mass, and she's a locutionist. Her name's Catalina Rivas. And, and can you explain what a locutionist sure, is? Sure, it's somebody that actually audibly can hear the Lord, okay. and she also hears um, the Blessed Virgin Mary. Okay. So they basically narrated what she saw, but she saw this amazing vision of heaven and earth coming together. So we talked about it on our radio show, and after that radio show, um, my co-host and I, Julie Nelson, went to uh, Mass. And during the transubstantiation, I kind of just had a thought of, my spiritual director always says that's the best time to ask because Jesus is there at that point. So at that moment, transubstantiation at Mass after the radio show, I said, Lord, if everybody could see this, nobody would leave your church. And I had my own interlocution that was a surprise because that's not normal for me. Um, and I heard him say, then show them. And I, I literally kind of went, what? Yeah. <laughs> Looked around, yeah. and then I heard it again. Show them what they would see if the veil was removed. And that's not language I would use, you know, yeah. and, and so I was like, oh, okay. So I leaned over to my co-host and I said, I gotta talk to you after Mass. Unbeknownst to me, she was praying for the same thing. As we were um, walking out, I started telling her everything. What was so funny is she immediately jumped on board when I said, I think we're supposed to make a short film that shows this, and normally, it, it's, it's like 20 questions if I have an idea for the radio show, but this time she just went, what film studio should we work with? Wow. You know, so she jumped right on and, and I thought, that's funny, because how would I know anything about that? But um, she suggested Spirit Juice Studios. So we're on the set of The Veil Removed, which is a short film about the collision of heaven and earth, the moment where heaven and earth come together during the consecration at Mass. Um, you know, very recently there was a Pew Research study done that talked about a large number of Catholics don't believe in the true presence of the Eucharist. And if we're not even doing a good job of that, you know, one of the core things of our belief here, you know, what are we even doing? This is such an important project because it really does highlight what we believe as Catholics, that, that the true presence is present at the Eucharist and at the consecration, that moment of consecration. You know, it really is a moment where heaven and earth join together. Show people just a clip basically of what happens at mass if you had the veil removed to incite curiosity to get people asking questions and what i've realized along the way in my generation and my kids generation is a lot of people don't know this and so if you have bad preaching if you had bad music but you understand what's happening with the eucharist and the power of it it changes people's minds. When people learn how to engage the Lord in the Eucharist, they realize how powerful it is and that He's really there. You know, when I, I've talked to lots of little kids and when they start understanding, oh, angels and everything, I go, but why are they there? They're there because they're with God in heaven. So when He comes, all of heaven comes. And those little kids go, oh, and then I have parents coming to me, my kids can't wait to go to Mass. And that's the point, you know what yeah. I mean? It's to get people excited about going to Mass. But in particular, he wants our project to focus on the people in the pews. Get them excited, yeah. and then let's watch the ripple effects happen. Yeah. We talk about the, the kind of epidemic of disaffiliation going on right now. Um, there really is just, like, we are hemorrhaging members. <laughs> like, people are leaving all the time, especially young people. Um, and we talk about how do we get them back. You know, there's many, many, many different routes we can take. And I feel one that Spirit Juice is taking seriously is the way of beauty. You know, we talk about God being truth, beauty, and goodness. It's really important for people to go out and speak the truth. It's really important for people to go out and do good works. Our push is really that beauty. You know, we want to show the true beauty of God and the way we know how to do that in our culture. The church is consistent and constant throughout time, which is beautiful, but it also must 
adapt how to communicate that word. We are really trying to be at the forefront of that communication, to communicate to our culture in the language that it speaks. And it really is in video these days. So Chris, it sounds like so many miracles um, and prayer, so much prayer went into this project. Did you ever have a time in the years where this was coming together where you thought, I'm done, I don't want to keep working on this? Oh yeah. <laughs> I, fundraising was a bit of a cross and I'm sure that we're still going to have more of that in the future. But um, at one point I just, I said to my husband, I said, can I be done now? I'm just, I'm done. You know, this isn't my, my thing. But the Lord really took me out of my weakness and he strengthened me right when I would need a boost right when our team would need a boost you know he would send somebody to make even a small donation anything to just kind of keep saying keep going just yeah. keep going trust me you know so yeah. yeah it's been pretty awesome and we have had a lot of little miracles that have come along the way at time there was a time when I wasn't feeling well and I said help me feel better before this board meeting and there literally was a person in the chapel who said is one of you not feeling well and she said I have the gift of healing and she I mean literally that fast and I had prayed one time for a personal prayer warrior we have a whole team of people now up to 63 prayer warriors but um, I said Lord I'm, I was going I was having some little attacks and I just said I need a personal prayer warrior three days later I was praying the rosary in mass and another person who I'd only met once came out of the side chapel and said you know you're gonna think I'm crazy but the Lord I think he just told me I need to be your personal prayer warrior oh my God I mean things like that have happened to people on our team, on our board, it just it's been really amazing. I love that. I mean, I think you're an example of somebody who's really walking with the Holy Spirit. I mean, the Holy Spirit is who God sent us to be with us here on earth and just, he sends us what we need, you know? And, Absolutely. And, and I think I'm inspired by your story of just being open to hearing what God has to say. And even if it's something as simple as going up to somebody else, telling them God loves them or that he wants me to pray for you. And God can do really big things with our little yeses. So Absolutely. thank you so much for chatting with me today and prayers for the show. Thank you. Thank you.